Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Bjorning, and I'm about to have a little chat with Corridan here. Well, Corridan, it looks like that the Uruks have gone west, pursued by some riders. It's likely those Uruks are now dead. I cannot find Nona. It is as if she just vanished. We will not know for certain until we find them for ourselves, Pyclaw, but we cannot leave yet. I have looked all around Easeworth, but I cannot find Nona. It's as if she has vanished. Well, she is known as Wadu's ghost. Well, Horn has gone looking for her, but when he last came this way, he had found nothing yet. And did she tell you anything that might give us an idea of where she has gone? Or do you think she has fallen into trouble of some kind? Uh, the men of Rohan do not look kindly upon her people. Uh, you should ask the people about Eworth if they have seen her, and I will do the same. I do not know if they will tell me anything, but we cannot let her disappearance go without investigation. Uh, Horn is distraught, as if you'd expect him to be. He has grown fond of our fiery companion. You do not need elf eyes to see that. All right, let's accept this quest. So let's find it. And with the name like the ghost vanishes, I guess that's an appropriate name. Right, so now where are we? And I'll this way to speak with some writers outside the gates to see if they have seen her. Oh, yeah, that fun little bit. Run across the ropes without getting knocked down by the birds. <laughs> As if you needed parkour maps for Lotro. Hello there! I've not seen the Dunlending, but Horn has gone out to the cliffs. Yes, he seems upset about something. Hmm, well, alright, well, let's speak with Horn. Maybe he's found out something. And. Let's see, while we do that. Ah, just. Just a legendary item thing. Oh, oh, looky, the ant wash. Ooh, that's quite a river. All right. Hello, Horn. She is gone. She is really gone. I found the sword here on the stones, Pine Claw. But why would she leave it? No, I don't think she jumped into the ant wash. I do not believe it. She left us for some reason. And she left this sword here so that we could find it. But... Why leave us? Why leave me? I will take her brother's sword, and I will keep it for her until she returns. She will return, Pyclaw. I will not wield Wadu's blade, but I will hold on to it for Nona. Tell Corden that Nona has left us, but that she will return. Her path simply does not follow ours for the moment. I hope you're right. So, back to our elf and see what he has to say. Actually, even though I had a slightly long episode last time, I might have done well to have extended it slightly because I had forgotten that this is the end of Book 8. I was thinking I was in the middle of Book 8 or something like that, and I was a like, wee. I think I'm at the end now. That, that, that was a very fast uh, second half if we were in the middle before. I think Nona will return in time, but I do not know when. Yes, that is why I thought, Pine Claw. Nona is indeed fine and will return to us when she has resolved a few things in her mind. I know now why she has left and why she did not bring her brother's sword with her. For love. You have seen the way the people of Rohan look at her, with fear and with distrust. She is not one of them. Despite Horn's banishment and Sistangard, he is still very much of Rohan than she will ever be. So too has she seen the damage love can do. What would learning of Prince Theodred's death do to Ingrid 
her, her betrothed. Nona grew too fond of Horn over too quick a time to lose him in battle and death. Perhaps she left to shield herself from growing ever more attached to him. Perhaps she simply needs time to resolve her feelings. I think she will return, Pineclaw, but I do not know when. We must be kind to Horn in the meantime. He will feel this loss sharply, I think. And once again, we have a choice of a whole bunch of items that we cannot use. Horn will need to master his grief if we are to continue. We cannot allow this distraction to steer us away from our true purpose. Nona will return. I am certain of it. Aylmer has returned from his ride north. Alright. Aylmer has returned from his ride north. Y yes, you just told me. As Reevingber promised, Aylmer has returned. He is outside the Mead Hall. Introduce yourself and see what he knows about the Uruks we pursue. And, and this is the start of Book 9. Readings, Aylmer? I am pleased to make your acquaintance, my friend. Ah, yours is the second party I have encountered who sought the Uruk's Pine Claw. And to you I say what I said before. The Uruks have been destroyed, and I saw no sign of any other living things at the site. The news brought great sadness to the three we encountered. Yes, the man was Aragorn's son of Arathorn, and his companions were a dwarf, Gimli, Glowing Sun, and an elf called Legolos. Uh, speak with my man, Ethelthane, if you would hear of what these travelers or their prey. Very well. If Aomer, my commander, wishes me to answer your questions, I will do so. Ask what you will, and hear my answers. Whether they give you joy or sadness is no concern of mine. Oh, and here are the questions. All right, tell me about the encounter. They seem to spring out of the grass as if from nowhere. Some elvish magic, I thought. And indeed, one of them was an elf. A dwarf and a man there was also, but no man of Rohan was he. They hunted orcs in Theoden King's lands, but not at his command. Indeed, even Aomer, my captain, hunts orcs without leave of the king. But he is the king's own kin, and will rule in Rohan some day. These others make bold claims, but I do not know the truth of them. Aomer let them go, and that they will likely seek for their lost companions, but only on condition that they return and present themselves to, king, to the king in Aderas. Uh, this they swore to do. Now, the last time I did this quest, I think I didn't realize that he had all these questions you could ask him. So I saw he's talking about, ask what you will, and I think I've missed this until now. All right, what can you tell me about Aragorn, even though I've seen him quite a number of times in the past? Uh, he spoke first a strider, and then that Aeothian says this, what kind of man hides his true name? Eventually he gave it, and he gave it as Aragorn, son of Arathorn. So too did he claim that to be the heir of Isildur, the son of Isil Elendil of Gondor. He wields artifacts from the distant past, and what, whether he truly was the sword that was broken, forged again, Elthian cannot say. Well, yes, there is. Yeah, and I'm, actually, now I think it was, because I think I remember this reply, but it was. All right, what can you tell me about Legolos? An elf he was, as wild a creature as I have seen, seemingly sprung direct from the tales of children. Elmer gifted two horses to the travelers, and this elf needed no rein or saddle, though Arad's master was killed in battle, and he was not ready for a new rider. I have never seen anything like it. Yeah, that's Legolas. And what about Gimli? Oh, the dwarf is fortunate my Captain Elmer knows the value of mercy. 
He spoke to the third marshal with great rudeness and could take a lesson of manners from even an orc. Were Aragorn less well spoken, there might have been one fewer dwarf in the Rittermark. Mm, yeah, so you say. Uh, okay, now what about these Uruks, which is the main point of this discussion? Oh, Aramor rode north without the king's leave to hunt day down these Uruks. Scouts have reported them coming down out of the east wall from days before, and we caught up with them at the very edge of Fangorn. They were thoroughly, utterly destroyed, and we saw no sign of the friends Aragorn and his companions sought. Oh, that's not good news, I see. All right, Eimer, I've spoken with him. The three hunters lived when I left them. No Uruks escaped the circle of my riders, but it is possible your friends may have escaped before we closed in. It is a small chance, but it is what Aragorn hoped for, and perhaps his hope was more than hope, and there was truth in it. Perhaps, but Amor Edmund's son put stock in cold steel and sunlight on the plains. Without some unlikely dwimmer craft, I fear the halfling friends Aragorn sought met a sad end. These three hunters, however, lived when I left, last saw them. All right. My men caught up with the Uruks just outside the eaves of Fangorn. Yes, just outside the east of Fangorn to the southwest. Their leader, a fierce Uruk, whose name seemed to be Ugluk, if the panicked words of the fellows can be untrusted, dismounted and fought me blade to blade. I proved the better swordsman, to the pride of Eomen El and the shame of whatever disgusting lout claimed to sire Ugluk. A ride to the sight and resigns of your missing friends, or Aragorn and his two companions. If my men and I are still here when you return, you are welcome to ride south with us to Adaras. Very well. So we need to go to the north of there. But that is a level 81 quest. So therefore, it is time for us to do all these quests around here that are really up. The Rohirrim will need your aid. This is madness. Orcs ravage our walls, burn our homes, and prepare to lay siege to our city. And the Reeve does nothing. Ah, I must beg your pardon, stranger. I am frustrated by the apparent inaction of Reeve Ingbert. But forsooth, Theoden King is to blame. The King has declared that we are not the hunt orcs without our, within our own borders. And so the orcs hunt us. Many have see lost their homes and all their own, and others fear that the same will happen to them. Perhaps you could go give p go to the people of Edward and reassure them that our city will stay stand strong. So the king has commanded that they do not hunt Uruks, even though it looks like that. The Dunlandings rally to the banner of the White Hand. Though it looks like that Eomer has ignored that, considering what he's done to that band of Uruks. I have friends who have lost everywhere. The south walls lie in ruins, and you say do not be afraid? <laughs> I am Rahiram, and I will fight to my home. But the Reeve Ingbert does nothing to avert the attacks of the orcs. Why not? I don't know. What business have you with the Rohirrim? We are Rohirrim, and we will not cower in the face of defeat. We will continue. All right. Hello there. Will you aid the Rohirrim? Adamold sent you, did he? Oh, good enough. As you have heard, I am sure, orcs out from the Misty Mountains are preparing to lay siege on Eworth. In preparation, I have tasks for you. I need you to go out into the Vale and collect some materials for me. We will need arms and armor to spare, but for that we will need materials to forge with. You can mine ore in the cliffs of the Vale. Wood can be found in the marshes to the north. When you have gathered these materials, return to me. 
right, that would be good. And what else have we got? How about up in this direction? And we have... Oh, hello there. I need help. Oh, yes. Please, stay and speak with me. I am quite upset. My friends, Brewston and Sperling, are quarreling, and I, I'm afraid they might hurt each other. Uh, you're a great warrior, and I am sure they will listen to you if you told them to stop fighting. Uh, will you come with me? All right. All right, let's go. Oh, thank you, thank you. I know not why my friends Sperlin and Brunston are fighting, but someone must stop them. I'm afraid they're going to injure more than their friendship. What brings you to these lands? Oh, you must hurry. Kirk, my kind one, uh, Brunston and Sperlin will surely harm each other if they continue fighting. Let's see, can you stop the art? Right, what's this all about? I am tired of the curfew. Oh, Sperling has accused me of stealing the toy sword that his father gave him. But I tell you, I did not. I, I am no dishonorable dog that would steal from my friends. Sperling lent me the sword and I returned it. I swear, eh, he only blames me because he does not want to blame himself because when he lost it. Hmm. I am tired of the curfew. Brimston is a liar and a thief. My father gave me that wooden practice sword before he went away to fight, and I let Brimston play with it. Now it is gone. He swears he returned it to me, but I swear I, he did not. He is a liar without honor. Hmm. Well, this is a pickle. I am not supposed to speak with strangers. Well, then you're the one who started this quest, didn't you? Oh, oh my, yes. I do not know who to believe. I cannot believe that Brunston would be so dishonorable, but I also do not believe this Burling would accuse him without cause. Uh, perhaps when the other children saw something. Oh, uh, would you ask them? All right, hello there. Uh, do you know anything about this little trouble? Welcome, my friend. Well, if Brunston stole Burling's sword, he should be fed to the orcs. Sperling's dog gave him that sword before he went away. Boy, are you really rough. Okay, what do you say? Are the orcs going to eat us? Uh, nay, 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 I saw nothing. I, I eat, uh, 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 uh well, uh, well, all right, I can't lie to you. I borrowed the sword from Brewston and I and was playing with it when it burned yards of the, yeah, in the burned yards of the south, when my mother called me to dinner. I, I forgot the toy and left it behind. When I went back, I told him not to... Could I find it again? Oh, please, do not tell Sperling and Brewston. They're bigger than me. They, they are? Let me see. Well... Sperling isn't. Hmm... I am not supposed to speak with strangers. Oh dear, you say that another of my friends actually to blame for the loss of Sperling's sword? Oh my, 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 my. Let's talk about this somewhere else. Alright. Well, what do you think we should do? I am not afraid of you. Yes, if you tell Sperling and Bruce that they're actually of that it was actually our other friend who took the sword, they will both turn on him. Is there nothing you can do to help? Stay hey, and speak with me, please. What am I to do? Bruce and Sperling will not speak with each other uh, still and swear that their friendship is over, but you and I both know that neither of them is directly to blame. Our other friend who replaced the sword said that he lost it in the southern part of town. Would you go and search for it? If you can find the sword, perhaps Bruce and Sperling would be friends again, and our other friend can remain nameless in the matter. How about that? All right. Well, I suppose I could look into that in the next episode of Piney Plays. The Bee Orning.